guess what finally, finally came today. That's right. My signed copy of the Tower of Nero. So, let's open it up. Okay, time to open this up. Interesting to open. the box. Anyways, I'm not going to eat it anymore. Here's the Nico hat. Number 13 on the back. I love this even though I'm not even a daughter of Hades. But I'm wearing it anyways. Thank you, thank you for making sure this thing will never ever be damaged. I hate it when we get damaged book mail. Finally, somebody is genius enough to put it in bubble wrap and cover it. like opening a present. Oh wow. It even has this sticker saying signed copy. So if anybody is trying to say that this is fake and I just scribbled something in it, this says signed copy, okay? Yes. I waited a year and three weeks for this. Counting, well, from since the Tyrants too. It's been exact, per, almost exactly a year and three weeks. Because this came like exactly a week after it was released. Even though I pre ordered like a month ahead. But I don't care because it's signed and I get a Nico hat. Anyways, let's. See this beautiful, beautiful signature from Uncle Rick. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love it. Okay, let's put it on my bookshelf.
today we are at like my favorite place on my bookshelf the Percy Jackson section anyways we're gonna make some room over here we'll probably move one of these standalone books over take this one out and put it on the bottom shelf move my wonderful Keeper of the Lost Cities collection over move the cover on the side. This is actually a really, really great book series by Chandelle Levon. Uh, she's not like a super famous author or anything, but she has a really good book. Well, books. This is one of the most latest ones. It's actually uh, the, the last three novellas. It's uh, combined together. This is basically about witches in the coven, as you can tell by the title. And, um, well, they, um, uh, basically, well, the first, for, I'm tr I don't want to spoil it too much, but, uh, in the first season, Elemental Magic, if you go to, first, here we go. These first few books here, The Lost Witch, Brave Witch, Rebel Witch, Broken Witch, Eternal Witch, and Aether Witch, and the Fire Witch novel as well. These are all in the first series, Elemental Magic. Um, these are basically, um, basically prophecy is, um, they have to, uh, there's this gap that was created in Salem in 1692, which, uh, well, Salem Witch Trials. Um, Basically, a gap was created there, and it lets uh, demons through, and as well as uh, Fae, that's F-A-E, Evil Fae. So, they have to try and close the gap by Halloween in 2018, I believe. Otherwise, the gap will be made permanently open, and then, they, and then the demons can come through freely, as well as the Fae. And then, the world is basically in the apocalypse. So yeah, that's the first season. Uh, I'll leave the link to it. Uh, you can only buy it on Amazon. So I'll leave the Amazon link to it in the description of this video in case you want to check that out. It's really good. Anyways, back to this. Sorry, I procrastinate. Take this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful book. And just slide it in here. Let's see if I can take out any other books. Dang it, of course I put all the series on the top. Um, okay, um, well, I'm gonna pause the video and then try and rearrange this somehow so I can get everything nicely and mostly sorted by value. Okay, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, I finally got everything sorted, and let me tell you, everything, and I mean everything, is in a different place except for first dress. I put the Wings of Fire series here instead since it's like the only thing that can fill up this entire section. And yes, in case you are wondering, this is Discord from My Little Pony. I know he is not from Wings of Fire, but since he's part dragon, some part of him, I just put him with the Wings of Fire because, well, I don't actually have any like Wings of Fire figurines and I just wanted to do something because I have this immense, immensely large series and then it's kind of short, so then I just have this big blank space on top. And then I put uh, some just standalone books here, because there's a little extra room. Anyways, you you did not click on this video just to watch me go through my workshop. So, um, I'm just gonna say one last thing before, before the video ends. Um, this lovely Nico hat it's, uh, in case you were, in case you didn't notice, this is actually, like, a skeleton horse, which honestly kind of reminds me of the Thestros in Harry Potter, specifically the Order of the Phoenix, which is right here. I just felt like pointing that out, because, in my opinion, that was really interesting. And, um, also, um, I just want to ask this, um, am I, when, whenever I look at this hat, am I the only one that thinks of this one moment from Percy Jackson's Greek Gods moment right here? 
where they mention his helmet of terror, or his boo cap, as the others call it. Basically, his, his helmet that could turn him invisible, or it could send the feelings of terror throughout uh, whoever he inflicted it upon. So, anyways, that moment when I wear this cap because, well, it is a cap, technically, and it's Hades, so like, every time I look at it, I just think, boo cap. I know, it's weird. There's literally no reason why I should think of that. If it were like an invisibility cap or something, then I'm pretty sure you would all agree with me. But it isn't. Or is it? Alright, let's try putting this on. today I guess. Um anyways, um be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. And um I also posted um if you didn't know all of the tours for the also come with a virtual book event. Mine was October 8th, which was a little less than a week ago. Um in case you didn't know I uploaded those onto my channel and I separate it into three parts. First part is where Rick Riordan is talking about, well, a little bit about what's happening in Tower of Nero, and he's also talking about what's coming next for Rick Riordan presents and what he might do next. But part two is where he's talking with a special guest for that date. It's different every time. This one was the author of Tristan Strong, Kwame and Balea. And so that's part two. And then part three, is the Q and A, the Books of Wonder? Uh, they uh, they pulled up some uh, questions that um, that the attendees asked. They sent to the email, and then uh, they just pulled some up and we had Rick answer them. Anyways, it was really fun. Um, it's about an hour and a half total, and uh, each of the three parts are about a half hour each. You don't have to watch the whole thing, but it is it's really enjoyable to watch. Anyways, uh, that's all. Um, see you next time. I have a date eat with Western Pepperdacus. So, it's gonna be fun. Anyways, bye.